Do you guys think she'll ever like me? I'm gonna say no. My trailer is acting funny and it did this last year. Oh, mother trucker. Scary, I know she's pretty scary. Let's go, loose. Do you like my outfit? Oh, yours. <laughs> Dialing. My blue on blue on blue on purple. You want to show the holes in your bum? <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Are you actually gonna come in? Come on! Good girl! morning good Wednesday morning I've already cheated and looked at my nest cameras and there was no lambs makes me very sad <laughs> all the times that I'm actually ready for lambs they wait till their due date and the times where I'm like still in the fields or need to be you know six places at once they lamb a week early have a little helper today she is out of sorts today I don't know what's going on she finished her worm treatment yesterday so I don't know whether she's just I don't know what it is. Usually I let her out at uh, when I wake up, so like 4.30, quarter to five, she'll go out and do her business, come in and then fall asleep on my lap. Usually on my laptop where I'm trying to uh, edit. But today she just was really wiggly, just kind of out of sorts. There she is. Hey, Dorothy. Straight up. Do you guys think she'll ever like me? I'm gonna say no. whole lot on the agenda today. I do want to meet Romy and Ryan. Romy is, we did that collaboration for my website, so she made the little wool, wool ornaments and the wool dryer balls for me, so we're gonna have a celebration lunch today. And then tonight I have to ship my use that, uh, that didn't make the cut the other day for the evaluation. So that is pretty much all for today, and then I'm just on baby watch for the rest of, rest of the week I guess. They're due Saturday. Today's Wednesday so three days left. Hopefully we'll see a baby. Hey guys. So for you it's been a second. For me I haven't picked up this camera for like eight hours. <laughs> we ended up running errands all day today. I haven't been really just Mark and I for quite a while so we did lunch with Romy and Ryan which was so nice to be like in civilization again and yeah and now it's time to load up those those ewes that I sorted out the other day before it gets too dark I like to hit the road so we're gonna go and do that now and check for babies
My trailer is acting funny and it did this last year. It's like a tire stuck. It just, it doesn't feel right. So I'm just getting Mark to come have a look at it. Last year, I can't remember, it was one of these tires and it was like it was not turning, it was just dragging. So I don't know if moisture gets in it. Or if it's this one now, I don't know. We're gonna get the expert out here to see. Do you have any weight in it? No. That might solve your problem. It's going now, but it was dragging. You can see where it was dragging here, especially here. And I don't know why it's doing that. It did that last year. Huh. I love my trailer. March of the Penguins. We got the trailer figured out. It was just the, uh, that back tire seizes when it gets some moisture in it. And it's really kind of a damp, gross day today. And it just seized. And I guess me just driving it a bit just wiggled it loose. So it's okay. However, my truck is throwing like a trailer like code. So we have to get the truck in to get serviced. Oh, they're so close, you guys. Look. So close, but no babies. Sad face, maybe tomorrow. So this barn's a bit different than the barn across the road. Um, I kind of, I kind of heard something with Temple Grandin a while ago, in that animals like to, especially sheep like to, they want to feel like they're circling back. So I've started doing this, I don't know, a year or two ago, um, setting up like an old crowd tub off the handling system, so they feel like they're actually turning around and going back kind of the way they came. It's psychological sheep, whatever. Um, but it works really, really well. So I'm just gonna back the trailer right up to the ramp there. 
and Mark did offer to help me load and I was thinking I'd probably be okay. Um, and I will be as long as they don't circle back and try to get off the trailer, so. I'm gonna set this part up then and get these ladies, they're in the front pen, so it should be pretty easy to move them, but nothing's ever really easy. so they don't come back off the trailer. So it took me like a whole video to set up, but it takes no time to load when everything goes right and they move. So it's all about setting up. And I probably just had the perfect amount of views. All right, we're gonna make the trek up and maybe I'll bring my camera. Oh, it's gonna be dark. I don't know what to do. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. Mother trucker. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, you guys, this video is probably going to be super short, which some of you are going to be really happy about, and others might not be so happy about. Um, they're just, I'm really just waiting for lambs now, and I don't want to bore you with a whole bunch of stuff that you don't care about. But I did promise you yesterday that I would answer a few questions if you had any questions regarding lambing, and I'm just, I haven't checked any of my comments all day. So thank you guys for commenting. I do try to at least reading them. Daily vlogging is almost impossible. Uh, I take about an hour every day just to go through them, make sure I'm kind of on track. And I will answer this one. Dorothy was not pregnant. She's a ewe lamb. She actually has never been bred yet. So people are asking me if, um, if she's still pregnant she never was so that was the one good thing with her versus the other one she didn't have that stress added stress of being pregnant so i think maybe that's why she also recovered i'm not entirely sure but i'm probably it didn't hurt it's really no lambing questions that's impressive oh someone is okay mark actually mark just talked to me about this too that there's hoses with built-in heat trace uh, so this is Ben said, there are hoses made with built-in heat trace. I have one that I've used on my RV when staying in cold climates in the winter. Okay, we're going to go on Amazon tonight and look for that because I think that'd be great. Oh, and someone said, have you tried pool noodles on the milk lines? Thank you, Trish. Someone told me to do that last year and I forgot, but I did use those pipe insulations that pipe insulation that I use on my water lines and they did not do they didn't work it still got too cold Steven says I have a bad case of prepartum depression you're you're right it's called I just want to get I want babies I want them to come now everyone's just being really really kind and loving Kinsey saying she's hilarious in time lapse isn't that ridiculous and everyone's pointing out that there's lots of birds I don't know what to do about the birds uh, that great big door at the end of the barn, uh, is like a 32 foot door and it's open for probably two hours, one or two hours when we're feeding and bedding in the morning. So I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to get rid of them. They, they like me. They think I'm Snow White, which we all know I'm not. Everyone's liking my edits. <laughs> I like it when you guys pick up on the little things that I put in just to make it less boring. I also want to just take a couple seconds and talk about, um, you've been so supportive with the, the launch of the website and the, the comments and the emails I've been getting have been so amazing. I've wanted a way to kind of interact with you guys more besides just comments. Um, and it's working out really, really well. So I thank you for that. And Honestly, I met with Romy today. I picked up a few Ruthie balls that I ordered for my friends for Christmas. Um, but her wool products just literally minutes after I relaunched them last week, they were sold out. So um, thank you guys. Like, it means the world to me that, that these things mean something to you because they mean the world to me. Uh, these are characters that you know, have changed my life or have been a real part of the legacy of, of my farm and the channel. I really wanted to incorporate them into what I'm making. So just an update, the hats I just can't keep in stock. I have been order. I doubled the order of my pink beanie. They were sold the first afternoon, basically. So I do apologize if you tried again and they were sold out. I've ordered again. Uh, so I've ordered those ones. I've ordered a few more of my red ones and I also got a couple more colors So I got a just a charcoal gray one and a green one more of a light green color of those and then um, My bad hair day beanie that I came out with literally as a test just to see if people liked it It was sold out in like 10 minutes, too I'm just kind of experimenting to see what you guys want, but uh, I did want to come on here and just have a chat with you guys since my video is not very long about uh, about this merch and your support and I just I hope you like it definitely the winter beanies will be around all winter I'll keep uh, I'll keep restocking those I'm also working on once the Billy merch the Billy merch is only here till Christmas and then I'm probably gonna whatever doesn't sell I'm probably gonna take back and gift to, to uh, friends and family of mine and I'm working on just my sheepishly me logo so that on a sweatshirt you've probably seen mark and i wear those uh i really want to make sure i like the quality like the feel of the hoodie before i before i make any for you guys 
So I'm just waiting on some samples and they will be there all, like I'm hoping to have them there all the time on the, on the website. I'm rambling. I'm gonna go in the house and see Mark and my puppy. Monkey. You're a monkey.